What's up, Geminis? Jim Mint here. We're back with another omnibus haul. It seems like the hauls are starting to come more frequently like they used to back in the day. Uh, the whole pandemic kind of slowed it down for me, but now we're back to like every week with a brand new haul. So we have some trades that Marvel Comics sent us early, got some manga, got some omnis, library edition. Before we jump into this, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button if you enjoy these videos, and stay tuned to the end of the video. We're going to give you some details on the giveaway we got going on. If you're looking to purchase any collected editions, make sure to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com. They sell these titles up to 50% off. They have immaculate packaging, super fast shipping, with great customer service. They also have a bargain bin where you can get titles up to 90% off. If you're placing your first order, mention our channel in the memo at checkout, and your next order will have free shipping if you're in the United States. Alright, so real quick, Marvel sent a couple of trade paperbacks. This is a Venom trade paperback called uh, Marvel vs. Venom, and you'll notice... It's a little bit smaller than your typical trade. That's because this collects some of the issues from the more child-friendly comic books. So this is kind of like how to get your kid into Venom. Uh, this book releases on October 14th and it collects Spider-Man Adventures 8 through 10. Uh, but it also collects Amazing Spider-Man 317 from uh, back in the, what, 90s? With some of that old school Todd McFarlane art. And then also Spider-Man uh, issue 35. So this has a $10 cover price, and uh, we'll take a look at this when we flip through all the trades. The next one is Hellstrom, Prince of Lies. So this is a thicker trade paperback. This has a cover price of $30. I'm sorry, $24.99. It comes out October 21st, and it collects uh, issues 1 through 11 of this series. So uh, there is a Hellstrom what, TV show coming out, so it makes sense that Marvel is putting out some material so you can get familiar with the character. And then lastly, we have a reprint of the Punisher Presents Barracuda. This is by Garth Ennis. It's a spinoff from his run uh, in on uh, Marvel Max. Yep. And um, I'm not really sure when this comes out. I couldn't find a release date. Uh, this is the second printing that collects the five-issue miniseries with a cover price of $17.99. Let's flip through these trades real quick. All right, so let's take a look at the trades. And I found some good information that you're going to want to know about them. Uh, first of all, here is, again, like that little pocket-sized Venom book. I like how they use that remastered Todd McFarlane Venom. This is from his first appearance when he runs up on Mary Jane. Here's the spine in the back of the book, Symbiote Spider-Man. Here's what it collects. And like I said, it's kind of like, hey, if you want to get your kid into Venom, here's like a good little quick trade paperback to do the job. Some of like the... Uh, Animated series, adapted comic books here with the Spider-Man Adventures. Think like Batman Adventures comics, you know. All right, and then here's more of that. But it does give you some classic Todd McFarlane stuff here. And then uh, here we have more of a modern Venom storyline. Still kind of uh, kid-oriented. Now, Hellstrom, Prince of Lies. Here's the cover. Here's the back. Uh, spine. And then here's the back. So what's cool is it collects issues 1 through 11, right? Now, the Omnibus from Warren Ellis collects issues 12 through 21. So basically, if you, uh, you know, wanted to get the whole Hellstrom story, uh, you would pick up this trade paperback to kind of prequel the Warren, Ellen, uh, the Warren Ellis Omnibus. So let's take a look here. Nice artwork though, right? Got that 90s vibe, filling up the whole page, not wasting any space. It actually looks really good, guys. So there you go. Hellstrom fans, you're gonna wanna get this uh, to companion the omnibus. Now, as far as Punisher Presents Barracuda, this five-issue miniseries is collected in the uh, Volume 2 Punisher Max by Garth Ennis Omnibus, so just be aware of that. If you're not uh, collecting the Omnibus, it's a funny run, man. Barracuda is a super inappropriate, triple-X, violent, graphic uh, character, man, so you probably just saw in that one little panel. A good, fun read to pick up if you don't already have the Omnibus. Alright guys, so first I picked up this uh, Terry Moore 
Five years omnibus. Um, it caught me with the title Omni. And we know Terry Moore from Strangers in Paradise, from Rachel Rising, and others. So this collects his run um, on this title five years. This has a $40 cover price. It's a black and white book. It's um, very Terry Moore story and art. And uh, we'll flip through. We'll see what it collects and what it looks like. All right, then the Terry Moore Five Years Omnibus, standard size hardcover. This is by Abstract Studio. And here's the back. What's funny is uh, they're trying to build a fee bomb. <laughs> All right, so if you're familiar with Terry Moore, uh, this is going to look familiar to you. It's kind of like his you know, traditional uh, look here. The black and white comics. Um, look, he published it as well, man. So he was a one-man team here. Here we go. It was a blind buy for me. I haven't read this. But I know like Rachel Rising is like an acclaimed storyline. Same with Strangers in Paradise. And you can see these characters look, you know, very familiar to those. So just a quick look. Uh, let's see, does it have any extras? Looks like it has some sketches in the back. Next up, we picked up this collector's edition of Clover. Uh, this is a manga series from the 90s. It was adapted into an anime. And this was a blind buy for me, but it had a cool premise, like a dystopian future. Clovers are these gifted children that have kind of like powers over technology. I've been getting into manga lately, so I thought this might be a good pickup. Um, this has a $34.99 cover price. Black and white, reads from right to left, like traditional manga. Uh, and it's just like a sci-fi futuristic fantasy. Let's take a look at it. So yeah, I've been getting into some manga lately, and I like this type of style. It reminds me of more like Akira, more so than like uh, Naruto or something like that. I hit the camera, my bad. So let's take a look. It doesn't look as uh, graphic as something like Berserk or Helsing, though. But, uh, you know, futuristic sci-fi, dystopian future type of book, uh, characters with powers. So it kind of it kind of gave me like Akira vibes without like the very impressive landscapes that they would have in that manga. Yeah, this one is kind of like little to no backgrounds using a lot of like white space or like here negative space. But it seemed interesting, I'll have to give it a look. Got some color pinups in the back. All right, so we got two Marvel Omnibus. This is the Heroes Reborn, The Return. So the sequel to Heroes Reborn. We find out that the uh, Avengers, the Fantastic Four, Captain America, didn't actually die at the hands of Onslaught. They were actually in this pocket universe that was created by Franklin Richards, and it was called Counter-Earth. So this is the story of kind of bringing the heroes back. It has the four issue series of Heroes Are Born, The Return. Then it has Thor Annual 99. And then a bunch of other titles we'll take a look at here. Uh, the binding on this book was excellent, man. So your traditional like rounded spine, awesome wraparound cover, which we'll take a look at. And uh, a lot of give on that ribbon to allow for a very flat read. So glad to see the construction of this book looks very good. Now let's take a look at the interior. This does have a $125 cover price. All right, here goes the dust jacket for the Heroes Reborn, The Return. I didn't really love the cover as much. I do like how they have all like these uh, virgin covers of the issues that it collects. And speaking of what it collects, it's one of these books that has a ton of little mini series, right? Besides what I already mentioned, uh, what do you have? Uh, Doom, Fantastic Four 25 and 31, Doom 1 through 3, you have uh, Thunderbolts 50 through 72, uh, well, you know, not every issue, Onslaught Reborn 1 through 5, Onslaught Unleashed 1 through 4. So basically the whole story kind of wrapping up this kind of universe that was created in the aftermath of Onslaught. I am digging the wraparound cover here. I think it looks awesome. Bright, colorful, Celestials in the background. You have the uh, Mutants, the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, everyone. Got that bright purple Hulk pants you know, interior. And I like the artwork. You know, it's, it's that 
extreme 90s, early 2000s, kind of bubbly, but super colorful. Kind of like maybe a cartoonish with the uh, proportions. But, you know, follow, you know, filling out that uh, Heroes Reborn storyline. We got, what, two Hulk Omnis of it, the Heroes Reborn Omnibus, and now here is the, uh, the Return. Like a big Hulk and Thor spread. Looks like we have some uh, variants in the back. Let's see what else is in the back here. That's a great one right here. Yeah, here we got some variants. That Ricky Barnes variant. A wizard look. That's cool. Advertisements, a promo poster, which is the wraparound cover. Trade paperback cover. Some old articles. And then looks like some sketches or some interior pages in the back. Cool. All right, the next Marvel book is the Marvel Classics Comics Omnibus. This has a one hundred and fifty dollar cover price, and this uh, and what this is, Marvel Classic Comics was a was a run that reprinted old Marvel stories that went 12 issues. Then from issues 13 through 36, which is what this collects, it was Marvel's take and Marvel creative teams adapting famous storylines like Alice in Wonderland, A Christmas Carol, Frankenstein, Treasure Island, and books like that. So that's what this collects. And, um, it's a big, heavy book, man. The binding on this one is also very good. As you can see, it has more of that rounded spine. And it has uh, that same type of give on the ribbon to allow it for a flat read here. So you have writers like Chris Claremont on here uh, kind of tackling these uh, famous stories that we know and love in the Mary Marvel manner. Let's take a look at it. All right, here we have the dust jacket. Kind of a plain spine. I don't really love the spine, to be honest here. But uh, here are the comics that it collects in the back. You can see Last of the Mohicans, War of the Worlds, Treasure Island... So all these kind of, you know, Robin Hood, familiar storylines uh, that are written by, what, Chris Claremont. You know, have all these uh, famous writers and artists. Here, this talks about the uh, the run, and then here we have about the creators. It does have a wraparound cover. Nothing too amazing. Old school vibes. Let's see here. So... We have the splash page, table of contents, and then jumps right into issue 13. So it's got a Bronze Age vibe to it. Kind of reminds me of like um, some pre-hero stuff, but it's during the Bronze Age and it's just, uh, like I mentioned, a retelling of classic stories that we already know. Probably, you know, geared toward, you know, comic book readers that grew up with this. Maybe they were born in the 60s and this was on the shelf when they would go into comic shops. Well, that's pretty much it. Just ends with some uh, pages and covers. All right, last up, we have the third library edition uh, from Umbrella Academy. This is Hotel Oblivion, which collects the seven-issue run of this volume. Uh, this is by Gerard Way. I recently did a review on the first two volumes, so I'm really excited to jump into this and see what happens with the kids uh, during this run. This has a $39.99 cover price in addition to the seven issues. It also has, what, 56 uh, pages of extras like sketchbooks and such. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Umbrella Academy. All right, and these big deluxe editions or library editions, they're like the size of like a DC Absolute Edition. So taller than an omnibus. This is volume three, published by Dark Horse. Here's the back. It looks like we have a forward by Jeff Lemire. Gerard Way got 
a ton of praise from like the best riders in the industry. So man, good for him. Art by Gabriel Ba, which always gave me like a uh, Hellboy BPRD type vibes. It was number five. Looks like he's a kid. So you know, I've also uh, been a big fan of the Netflix series as well. I think the Netflix, the Netflix series does a lot of justice to the comics, man. It really fleshes out these characters, I feel, more so than even the books do. Because each um, volume is only like seven issues or so, right? So they take a lot of time in the show to do what the, the comics didn't really have time to do. So you get a ton of bonuses in these library editions, sketches and ideas... I'm going to read this one soon and do a review for it. All right, guys, so that's the haul. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And here are the details on the current giveaway. All right, guys, in order to be eligible for the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. So go ahead and hit the notification bell, hit the like button on this video, and most importantly, drop a comment below. Once we hit 95,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video where I promoted this giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a winner. You could be any age, any location. We will ship this worldwide, so go ahead and comment down below to enter. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Check out my other omnibus hauls coming up next, and stay minty fresh. Peace.